everybody. It's George Rose from Zancuda. Welcome to Soul Space this week. I'm laughing because I was late getting into the studio and I remembered a joke I used to have where we used to say if we had 30 seconds before airtime, we could build a house. We could do anything 30 seconds before airtime. So welcome to Soul Space. This is your hour this week. I am going to be doing readings for you. We're going to open up the phone lines right away and uh, see what comes out in the cards. The psychic energy is very strong right now. We are in between, in between eclipses. So this is really eclipse season. So my best advice to you during eclipse season is look at everything with eclipse eyes. What does that mean? It means observe, take a step back, right? Eclipses, one luminary, moon or sun passes in front of the other, right? So we have a little bit of light and then some darkness. So when you are between eclipses and in the eclipse cycle of the year, you want to look at everything with an eclipse eye. Light and dark. You want to see things for what they are in totality. So I hope you guys had great Thanksgiving um, weekend. I think for a lot of us it was nice and quiet this year, even though we can go back with our families and do everything that we need to do. I'm just going to uh, share our show so that people who are on my own website can see it, people who are on our own um, Facebook page, etc., know where to find us. So if you guys at home would like to share the show, that would be really awesome as well. I would love that. We're trying to get our viewership up. And I see I have some people online already. Let me see who's here. I've got, oh, I can't see. Swipe left. It's like a dating site, right? Okay. Here we go. We got a call already today at night. You guys are busy, huh? Hi, this is Georgia. You're in the soul space. Uh, yes, I seen you was on Facebook. Are you doing readings? I am. How are you doing? I am doing good. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. And what is your name? Ty. Hi, Todd. Um, so, Todd. Tell me Ty, something. Ty, I'm sorry. Too, Ty, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes it's hard to hear in the studio, um, so I apologize okay. for that. So, just want to share the show there. So, um, what can we do for you tonight? What are you looking for advice on? Just give me the specific, I mean, the, the specific category, like work, love. What is it that you are looking to, uh, to find out about? Really? I was just looking, looking for whatever kind of came through as okay. far as, like, my guidance. All right. Well, the I first know I thing, got some loved ones on the other side. I would probably a lot to say. I was going to say that I feel a, f a female energy on the other side coming in for you. Um, you definitely do. Yeah. But um, there's a couple of f females actually on the other side for you. But one of them to me, that one that came through the fir first, I will say, um, she doesn't seem like an older energy. She seems like, was it someone who maybe died younger than, than most people or younger? <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't say she was younger. I, I would say older. Okay. I'm getting two females coming in. The first one that came in for me was someone who definitely, like, died before their time. I feel like they still had a lot of life left in them. Yes, they did. Yeah, so maybe that's why they're coming through with that. So I feel like you also have a lot on your mind these days, a lot of thought processing. Um, I'm feeling a lot of energy in your head area. Most definitely. <laughs> when is your birthday? June fourteenth, two thousand. Okay, so you're. I was gonna say your your head to me feels like a Gemini, and there you are. And I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> you you calling in tonight is a sign for me as well because my dad's mm -hmm. birthday is June fourteenth, and he's been really on my mind all day today. And he passed quite a while oh, ago, wow. and actually in two thousand and eight. So. Um, Thank you for reminding me of Dad today that you share a birthday with him. <laughs> Thank you. I guess everybody can be a blessing to everybody. Yep. We are all angels in our own way of messages, right? Okay. So, that. so I'm going to ask you to just kind of focus your energy a little bit. I know we are not sitting together, but if you just want to kind of focus a little bit or have some, you know, clear your minds and have some thoughts that are positive, because I'm going to go into okay. your energy a little bit. Um, I feel like you have a lot of different things coming in, like a lot of choices to make um, in all areas of your life. Like you're really at a crossroads. You are uh, mm -hmm. 
trying to decide, you know, there's a little bit of romance going on, but there's also something with the career, and you're trying to align everything and fit everything in so that you can get the best of what you want. Yes. That's what I'm feeling about it. Um, so, That's exactly right. Yeah. So a lot of choices. My advice to you is, especially now, because astrologically we're in the middle of eclipse season, so we really want to mm -hmm. make sure that we don't leap to make decisions that we may come to regret come spring. So definitely right. tread carefully. Um, make sure that you are really thinking things through. And when things start to occur, like you have events that happen, really, mm -hmm. like, don't react to them. Try and just watch it unfold. Okay. Because I know you being that Gemini energy, you want to jump in and, and do. But you're also yeah, in your head a lot. Definitely. Yeah. So this is not the season for you to do, do, do. Now, especially the month of December, is a month for planning and plotting mm -hmm. and strategically deciding where you want to be. So, okay. you know, but it's going to be a busy month for you. So you've got to um, kind of sit on your hands a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, it definitely is a lot going on in these Yeah. Days. I feel like something happened recently that was very sudden. Mm -hmm. Is that true? For as, for as. I feel like it was almost like you felt like this, it, something came out of nowhere because I'm getting my 911 kind of card where something happened uh, all of a sudden and it put you in a little bit of a yeah, panic. Yeah, three years ago. Okay. So, because I feel like it was in the past. So, yeah. I want you to know that I feel like that energy is coming back around not in the sense of something bad happening, but coming back around for something to be resolved. Like, I feel like that situation, you needed more information on it, and you're going to get some mm -hmm. kind of clarity. Okay. So, nothing bad, just it kind of recycles, like you find out something you were wondering about then, you finally get the answer yeah. you've been looking for. That makes sense. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Um, and I feel like that answer comes in information through either social media, email, or some kind of text, like it's an electronic thing. It's not somebody that you run into and they tell you something. This is something you either yeah. see online or you, you, you get, a, get a text or something. Okay. So just keep, keep again, keep watchful. And it's kind of going to be like, um, kind of going to be like, what you thought is confirmed. All right, that makes sense also. Yeah. Um, I feel like you're a little bit nostalgic for your past loved ones. Was this person that, um, I, I'm getting two females on the other side and also a male. The first female that came mm -hmm. in, was that a grandmother? Yes. Okay. Because I feel like although she is a grandmother, very, a lot of life energy, like, Older in chronological years, but not in her real life energy, in her, her life, her soul form. Very Right, she still had a lot of life left. Yeah, very vibrant. And I feel as though she was more like a mom to you than a grandmother. Yeah, she raised me. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling it. Um, she's definitely around you. Like, she's kind of telling me, like, she would never leave you. Like, she is so supportive of you. Do you do something creative, like in the entertainment industry, or do you do music or something? Uh, yes. I, I used to do music. I kind of steered away from it, but I used to do music. You need to go back to music. Um, your grandmother okay. is showing me that she's, like, got your back, like she's pushing you forward from your back. Yeah, one time I made a, a, a song when I was about 18 or 19. Uh-huh. And uh, as I was rapping, I started speaking from her perspective. And then once I finished the whole song and played it back, it kind of made me cry because it was just like, that wasn't me speaking. It, it, it came from her perspective. That makes a lot of sense to me because I feel like her energy is intertwined with you. I feel very, mm -hmm. very strongly that you're also going to find a lot of healing and a lot of comfort in doing your music inspirationally from almost a perspective of your grandmother. Okay. So I, I thought about that too the other day. I was just thinking I need to do another one. Yeah, and I think that this is a really creative time for you. I don't think it's a time when, you know, you got to go out and, and hit the studio or hit, you know, creating stuff as far as being worried about other people hearing it. 
I feel like this right. is this is a time when you're going to just go deep and let the creativity flow and keep writing, keep keep rapping, keep doing, keep creating, keep composing, whatever it is you do, because I feel right. like the energy it just keeps building. It's not ready for the public yet. You've got to create more of it. I got a lot of time to think. I'll be hitting the road soon. For okay. Sure, so. Okay. So that's a lot of time. So when you use that time wisely, because I really feel like your grandmother is so inspirationally near you. Like she's just really trying to um, push you forward in this regard. She really wants you to do this type of creativity. And it's going to be really okay. healing for you. I feel like it will too. What was that male energy you felt? The male energy I felt, did you, did you not know your father? No, I know my father. Okay. Was there someone in your life, a male energy, that died when you were young, like a kid? Because uh, I feel like it's almost... I had somebody, uh, the way, die. The way, I had somebody die when I was 12, but okay. I didn't get uh, a lot of memories, too many. Okay, because the way I feel this energy is almost like it's a father figure type energy that you... Grandfather. Oh, well, okay, that makes sense to me now. Um, again, feeling like the energy is younger than, than, a, than an older person. Um, yeah. I feel like this energy was cut short for you. Like that was supposed to be something very instrumental in your life. And like it left mm -hmm. you too soon. And I feel like that mm -hmm. energy also is extremely inspirational on your journey. It is. Yeah. I feel like in the short time you knew him, you and he had quite a connection. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So what I'm feeling for you is, and I know this may be hard for you to understand now. I think you'll understand part of it, but I don't think you're going to understand the total depth of this. Mm -hmm. The way I feel this energy is for you, everything is in your music. Every answer mm -hmm. you're looking for, when you start to really devote yourself to the God-given talents you have, and I feel like there's some really unique talent where you're concerned, as soon as you really mm -hmm. go in there and allow yourself to develop that to full potential, everything else in your life falls into place. That makes complete sense, actually. So there you go. And I will tell Thank you that you. you've got a lot of things pulling on you now. The best thing you can do mm -hmm. is go within and let this beautiful creativity of yours come out because you've got a lot to say and it's important stuff. Yeah. And you're going to say well, it through your music. Do. Okay, I can agree with that because that's why I can get to my place of, uh, I can just let things flow. It's easier for me to hear and take in and let it flow. Yeah, because I think when you're in that space, it's really like a divine space. You know, for me, it's yeah. what I'm doing with you right now. When I'm communicating and I'm feeling the energy and I'm in the space of readings and healing, that's, that's, my, what, that's the reason I was put in this earth and I absolutely know it when I'm in that space. And I feel like when you allow the creativity to come through and you don't resist it or, 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 or repress it, you're in that space right. of what you were born to do. Okay. And so you've got to use your life well in that regard. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. God, spirit, whatever you call a higher power, doesn't like it so much when we don't use the talents he gives us. And that's a fact. That's a fact. So get in there and That's start creating some stuff, okay? Okay, thank you. And let all of us know how you're doing. Well, I'm glad you called right, the soul thank space. You. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night. So I've you got too. a couple of people in comments that, um, that, uh, that are saying they also want to call into the show. So we're going to let them do that. I got John Mineta looking for me on Messenger, saying he doesn't see the show. But people are on, John. Um, Terry Fertini's watching. Joanna Maya. Monica Harvey. Monica was here last night for our um, astrology night. We had a lot of fun. We really went over the whole month of December. I gave everybody some key dates. I think they were surprised by some of the energy. But really, what a month it's going to be. It's a great month for planning. So um, who else is on here tonight? I've got, yeah, Terry, it's great to see you as well. I uh, haven't seen you on in a while. 
I know you work a lot of hours. Uh, Pauline, call in if you want. Numbers on the screen, but if you're driving or watching or just listening instead of watching, it's 516. 945-9099. Um, so just call in. Anybody wants a reading tonight? Monica says she loved our astrology night last night. It was great seeing her too. I love in the community how we all come together and kind of know each other, even though because the last couple of years and our restrictions, we haven't been able to get together so much. Um, I got another call. So... Hey, it's Georgia Rose. Welcome to the Soul Space. Hey, Georgia, it's Aaron. Aaron, how would, are you? I don't have. I'm good. I'm. I don't have too much time today, but I was trying to catch a little bit of the show, and I was like, let me try to call. Well, I'm gonna pull three cards for you since you're in a hurry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that seems how I, like my life has been like that. I'm just, you know, I guess growth is one of those things that. We want it until we have it, and then we're like, oh, crap. Well, it's because gro <laughs> growth puts us in a place we've never been before. So that's kind of why we resist mm -hmm. it, because we're fearful. But I always say, if growth brings you to a new place, and if that new place is a little confusing, try and embrace it, because confusion means something's changing, and that's good, right? Yeah. But it's not easy to sit in that space. But you're pretty good at it, I have well, to say. Yeah, for me right now, I'm just inundated. Like, I have more, and I don't know if it's just Gemini or all my Aries, but I have more to do than I could ever possibly have time for. Yeah, I think that's the Gemini energy. And what I'm going to say to you is um, you have a lot going on, and I feel like you've got to choose. You have to choose and prioritize wisely. Um, especially this month for the month of December, Aaron, it's very important that all of us, especially you, because I know your chart, it's very important that all of us um, take time to ask ourselves what do we value and what makes us the most valuable to others. And those are the things we have to focus on. Okay? Mm -hmm. So get rid of the fluff. All right. Are you worried about a relationship right now? I think I'm always, uh, no, it's okay. I'm okay. I think we okay. have been through that struggle. Um, All right. But that's also a newer, that's a turbulent space in life right now, yes. <laughs> I just got two different answers for you. That's total Gemini energy. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. No, it's it okay. Well, no, I guess not. <laughs> no, well, you know, but. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I feel like, um, I'm just going to say, you know me, I'm just going to say what I have to say. I feel like the relationship you're in now is starting to feel like a past relationship. Got really quiet over there. A little bit. <laughs> so, a little bit. So what I'm going to say to you is, hold on one second because I just have to ask my producer to do something. Bobby, can you call Daisy? Oh, sure. So, um... She's right here. We have a dog in the studio. <laughs> um, which, I, you know, I love dogs, but she won't move. She's like a bull. She just won't move now. Okay, so getting back to your reading, I'm sorry. So I feel like there's something about this relationship that's repetitive, but I also feel like you're going to handle it differently. So something mm -hmm. comes up that makes you feel like a past relationship made you feel, but you're going to handle it a little bit differently because you're highly... Highly intuitive now, but you are tapped into that. So it's going to be a little different for you. Feel like around the holidays, you're going to get pretty nostalgic. But Aaron, I have to tell you that everything that you have going on, I'm pulling a few more cards than three. Everything you have, yeah, everything you have going on, it, the universe wants you to be balanced. The universe keeps throwing stuff on your plate because it wants you to make the decisions of what needs to be on that plate and what doesn't. You need to take some time out, even though everything's going on around you crazy. You need to take some time out and go within. I pulled this soul card for you, which I don't know if you can see it on camera. If Bobby can give us a camera on the table, that'd be great. Um, yeah, see, it's a, can you see the soul card now? It's like this person in deep contemplation. But this card also is heavy energy. It's someone overwhelmed. You don't want to get that way, and I feel like you are, and you're such a positive person, Aaron, that I don't want to see you overwhelmed. 
So really make sure that you pick and choose all these things you say that you have so much to do that you couldn't possibly get it all done in a day. Make a list of those things and start scratching stuff off that can wait or that really isn't valuable. Okay. All right. So you have a question for me? No, I think that was it. Just a general reading. <laughs> yeah, because I can feel your energy. I feel like you're starting to get drained a little bit. Yeah. And you can't let that happen, um, especially for you, because when you get really drained, you're going to get frustrated. Mm -hmm. are, are you eating <laughs> properly? Because I, like I feel like you're going off your regular routine. Um, I feel like I haven't been on a routine right now. I've been kind of... Yeah, since you moved. Like whatever. Yeah. Yep. Um, really important for you, even if it's just 10 minutes and set the alarm in the morning 10 minutes earlier, really important for you to kind of ground yourself right now. These next few days, especially going into the fourth where we have the new moon and the eclipse, you're going to feel very overwhelmed. So you've got to take a little bit of time out to be with Aaron. Okay. All right. And give All Bentley right. a hug for us. <laughs> Okay, he's actually sitting right here. See that? Our dogs, what we do without them, right? <laughs> so have a good yeah. night, Aaron. All right, thank you so much, Georgia. Yeah, thanks for calling in. So um, for all of us this month, I think it's really important, as I said, to spend some time in solitude, in you know, really quiet contemplation of where we want 2022 to go for us. I think we have another caller. Hi, welcome to the Soul Space. This is Georgia Rose. Hello, how are you? It's John Manetta, ladies, our fave. <laughs> how are you, Mr. Manetta? I am doing fine, thank you very much, very much. Isn't it funny how, like, there's certain people in our life that we always call Mr. or Mrs., and you're one of those people, like, we always call you Mr. Manetta. <laughs> you do. So that, that's something you do all the time. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. You just feel like a Mr. Manetta. You have a lot of presence, you know? Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> so the, the first thing we all want to ask is, how are you feeling? Because we know you had some health issues and things, and I know a lot of the audience was praying for you in the soul space. I'm, a, I'm actually really over the hump, so to speak. I'm completely over the hump. Okay. I'm all done with everything. Yay, we've got to send you loves. I want to so, see a bunch of hearts out here. Yep, thank you very much for all the prayers. I appreciate it. I so, really did. So what I can really we do did. for you tonight? You want me to pull some cards for you? Of course. Just whatever comes out. You let me okay. Know. I feel like I'm going to pull cards for you for the general energy of December. All right? Okay. Because I, like, I feel like this month has a lot of transition for you. Okay. And that could just be your health getting better, you know? But I feel like a lot yeah. of energy changes and transitions for you this month. Sounds good for me. Sounds good. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to link, do a heart link with you. Show me to do this. Okay. These are your cards. Oh, we got the tower card for you, Johnny. It's okay, though. I think that's in the past. The tower card means everything falling away. But I feel like this is in the past because the next card I have is the um, seven of wands reversed. And that's usually a card of action. So I don't know why. I feel like this holiday season is going to be a little bit different for you than in past years. I, I feel like you're going to be spending it with somebody new. Um, that could be okay. someone that's a friend. It could be someone who's an acquaintance. It could be a romantic. It could be a family member you haven't seen in a while. But I feel like you're going to be spending it with somebody new. You know, I don't feel like it's a family member. It feels like a real new energy, new to you energy. So, okay. yeah, so maybe it's even just you go to a new party or you get invited to someplace new, but I feel like some new things are happening for you. Um, okay. I feel like you're moving away from choices. I feel like in the past you felt like you had a lot of choices to make and now you've narrowed them down to what's really important for you in your life. Almost like you've trimming, trimming the fat kind of a feeling for me. I got it. I yeah. Gotcha. Um, I got gotcha. you. You're all about balance. I think this next few months for you, not just December, is really going to be all about balance, balancing the material world, the spiritual world, and your emotions. 
Um, I feel like you have the power to truly master both worlds, you know, as above, so below, John. And right, you're, you're right. getting out of the distractions that you've had the last couple of years. Okay. Um, clarity, okay. you're starting to really see things for what they are and uh, are able to kind of move away from them a little bit. I also, yeah, that's true. Yeah I, yeah, I feel like the energy just kind of changes for you. I feel like there's someone, this person that comes in that's a new energy for you, I feel like she's instrumental. I do feel like it's a female. I feel like she's instrumental in you allowing things to just float into the past. And I really feel it almost like water, like like just floating away, like you, like, you know, waving goodbye to a big ship. Like, you know it's there, it's always going to be there, but all this stuff is on board and you're letting it go out. Okay. That's how I see the energy. And that opens up a lot of new things for you. So this month is the beginning of a whole new line of energy. That's how I feel it. Um, okay. You may have a little bit of either a confrontation or a conversation with some energy from the past, but you're not going to dwell on it. You're going to move away from it. Okay. So do you have any questions for me? No. I, I, it's, no, I, it all sounds good. I feel like the... Sounds, I, yeah, I feel like the energy for you is changing, and you're on top of this. You've got this. Like, things that have really weighed you down in the past are no longer going to weigh you down. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. I definitely agree. You know, and, and I go back to the word all the time, that acceptance. Yeah. You start to accept, you know, things move. There's more flow. Yeah, when we're not so worried about trying to change everything, we can focus right. on the things we can change. Right, exactly, exactly. Because I'm exactly. seeing, you know, I just got the King of Pentacles on top of all these cards, and that's you. You are absolutely the King of Pentacles, and it's, it's over the tower, which means that you are able to overcome any adversity in your life. You are going to, you're going to walk away from anything that's not of the highest good for you. You, you see that with great clarity now. I'm going to pick a soul card from the deck just to clarify this reading because I want to see what kind of light is around you. And, you know, I never got this color light with you before, but I'm getting pink. Like pink light. It's telling me to pick two of these. Like pink light all around you. Yeah, there's a pink lotus in this card. Um, definitely pink light around you. So the first card I got is actually what I call my healing card, John. So I want you to know all mm -hmm. of the health issues that you had. Um, Definitely, you're, you're ahead of them. I don't think you're going to have too many lasting issues. I think you're, you're really on the right path. And I feel also like this has made you um, much more focused on your own health. You're, you're, more, you're more determined and you're more focused on getting really healthy than you have been in a long time. It, it's funny that you say that because I pulled, it was either yesterday or today because everything blends in. Yeah. I pulled the health card, like the last in the last week, probably three times, two weeks. Yeah, this is, three. the universe really wants that to be your focus. And, you know, yeah. I don't know if you heard the last reading I did on, online, but um, I was telling a gentleman to go back to his music and that once he did what God really wanted him to do or whoever your higher power, whatever you call your higher power, that everything else in his life would fall into place. I feel like for the next little while, health is your avenue. Health is the, the, the highway that's going to bring you into where everything falls into place. So do your walking, do, do whatever food plan is for the rest of your life. I don't believe in diets. I believe in our lifestyle. Um, but I call this my healing card because if you look at it, there's all surrounded by green. And for me, that's Archangel Raphael and healing. So that's why I always call this my healing card. And that was the um, energy that I got when I pulled it for you. The next card, remember I said I kept, I, I've never gotten this color with you, and I'm seeing all pink around you. Uh, Archangel Ariel also is coming in for me, which is a very big angel. Um, angel of Courage. Ar Ar Ariel comes in, very sweet, light energy, but large angel and courageous. And I got this uh, card, so your soul card, when I was getting that pink light. And I don't know if you can see this on camera or not, but in the forehead of this picture, there's a pink gemstone like a lotus bud um, right oh, on oh. the third eye of the card. 
and I'm trying to get it so, so the light hits it. This is symbolic of the lotus flower um, being lotuses grow out of the mud. And lotus is a very symbolic symbol in the sense of even when we're in our worst detriment, we rise above it and there's goodness in it. We find the lesson, the goodness. Things don't happen to us, they happen for us. And so rising out of the mud to grow the lotus is the, the adage of, you know, the phoenix rising from the ashes, that we rise above things. And I think that's why I'm seeing you surrounded in pink light, because this beautiful pink lotus blossom gemstone at the third eye is what's giving you the vision to go forward. Um, hope, courage, um, optimism is the word I want to use. So especially on this new moon on the 4th, on Saturday, we have this beautiful new moon, heavy Sagittarius energy coming in. The eclipse is also on what's known as the great attractor at 12 degrees of, of Sagittarius, which is a huge amount of zero point energy. In layman's terms, what am I talking about? Creation. So this beautiful pink energy around you is the energy of creation. Archangel Ariel helps us to create what's new and what's our fault, fullest potential. So go into that energy. And for anyone else listening, you know, sometimes it helps just to envision yourself in beautiful pink light and that beautiful light of creation. And by zero point energy, what we mean is the moment of creation. There was nothing before, zero. You're starting from nothing and creating. We all have something that we do with some modality that way, whether it's music or writing or, or reading or, or teaching or you know, something that we bring that is our value to the world. Um, and for the next little while in astrological energy, that's what's really the whole point of us is value. We're going to be talking about what we value, how we're valued, how people show us our value, how we value others. And I think this is about you valuing yourself, John, and being on the track of the healing. And surround yourself in that pink light because it's going to bring you a lot of creativity and allow you to think of new ways to approach things in your life. I agree. I agree totally, 100%. And I, and I, and I, can, I could validate what you're saying, knowing things that I've been doing. Yeah. You know, that are on that path that you're talking about, you know. And, so we, I know and we, know, we know when we're in alignment with that energy. We know when we're in alignment with what the universe wants of us. Because we can feel it. Our vibration suddenly increases, you know? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. This was a great reading for you. You're in a really good place. I am. I am. I am. I've gotten my... And it's only recently, but recently. Very yeah. Recent. I definitely feel that. It was a big shift, so... So I'm going to pull a couple of cards for people online. Thank you so much for calling in, John. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll talk. Yep. All right. You have a... I'll be listening. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to pull bye a bye. card. I can't pull a card for everybody because we don't have that much time and people are calling in. If anybody wants to uh, call into the show, here we go. Hi. Welcome to the Soul Space. This is Georgia Rose. How are you tonight? Hi, Georgia. And who am I talking to? Marianne. Hey, Marianne. How are you? Okay. So before okay. I go into your cards, I just want to shout out because I just saw I have someone online that I want you all to send beautiful healing and loving energy to. Uh, Donna Barilli is online, and she's one of my beautiful soul sisters, and she just got some fabulous news the last day or so, which we are all so overjoyed about. I'm going to actually start to cry. Um, tumors that we have been praying on and she's been going for treatment for are gone. So we can't believe Donna's journey has been so long and I just want to send her all the love in the world. And for those of you who can send some hearts to her, I would love to see a whole flood of hearts go to my girl Donna. Um, so I'm going to pull a card, cards for uh, Marianne. And I have Elaine online. I have Terry Frattini. If I get to you, I will definitely um, pull a card for you, Terry. Georgia? Yes. I, I had a, a, a dream, but I'm not sure if it, it really was what I saw. Okay, so describe it to me, because right now with Neptune in Pisces, especially it's going to be um, doing some conjunction with other planets soon, 
is a dreams are very vivid right now, but also very prophetic. They're very important for us to take note of. Well, it was on Thanksgiving, and I looked at. I was at my son's house, and I looked out the window, and I saw my husband. Okay. And was it very real? Yeah. Okay, so now that was the dream. You dreamt that you were at your son's house. Well, I was, yeah. Okay, yeah. you were staying at your son's house, but you had a dream that you looked out the window and saw your husband. Yes. Okay, so if I had to interpret that, to me when someone looks out a window, um, even if it's a car windshield, that's looking at your future. And I feel like he's trying to tell you that he's with you even though you're not both in the same realm, you're not both in the same dimension, he's with you all the time, Marianne, and I think that he wants you to move forward in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it, it that was... he knows, he knows, he sees what's, what's going on, and I think he was there to comfort you. It was so real. It was really, like, I was, like, in my dream, I was shocked that I saw him. Yeah, that's a beautiful feeling, though. And what I will tell you is your dream was real and he probably came to you in spirit. Because many times our loved ones who've crossed over come to us in spirit. And for him to do that and vibrate with your energy in dream state so that you can see him and, and know that he was there. When you saw him, other than the shock, what, if you had to recall what emotion was the most prominent for you, was it love? Yeah, it was like, oh, my God, he's there. He's here. Right. Like, it was like. So think yeah. about what you just said. Mm -hmm. He is here. Yeah. You might not always be able to see him or hear him, but he is here because his love and the love that you had together is through the realms. It lives on no matter what. It's eternal. So. Yes. You know, one of the ways to combat grief is through gratitude. I say this all the time. Gratitude is the antidote for grief. And when we go into gratitude, we can be happy for that person that crossed over, that they're in such a beautiful place. And although we miss them in our three-dimensional life, with that gratitude that we have for having known them, having had the experience of their love, we can go forward and carry on. And so I, that is really my wish for you. And I really believe he was coming through to comfort you, show you you are loved, even though he's not still here for you. Mm -hmm. And also, okay. you know, that's a gift, beautiful gift on Thanksgiving for you. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, so if, if, if he loved you so much in this lifetime, imagine how much he's loving you from the other side. But I feel very mm -hmm. strongly that he is saying to move forward in your life. He wants you to have more enjoyment. Yeah, it's hard. I know it's hard, but you can do it. You're bigger than anything that's hard. You know that. I'm going to pull a soul card for you. Oh, wow. So I'm going to show this on camera, if Bobby can give me a camera. Um, and I know these cards sometimes are hard to see on camera because they're glossy. But if you look at this photo on, on the card, the soul card, it's actually a person, right? You can see it here. And there's a larger person, almost looks like an angel with a big light band around him and the smaller person is reaching up to touch it if that's not symbolic of the dream that you just had you know of two people coming in across the realm surrounded by light energy just so much light that's so beautiful and it confirms for me that you know your husband did come through to you in spirit in dream, during dream state yeah it absolutely was him so that's something to be so grateful for yes i am yeah well, thank you for calling in, Marianne. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. So I am going to pull a card for Terry Frattini. I can't pull cards for everybody. We've got a really busy show tonight. But I will pull cards for a few people if I can. So, Terry, you said you'd love a card to see how past family stuff has been. And I just lost my comment. And been resolved. And you're going to free yourself so you can keep moving on. Yep. Okay. So let me pull a couple of cards for Terry Fertini. Yep. John definitely needs to continue what he's doing. I agree, Elaine. And I think he's going to. Really strong message from spirit that he needs to do that. So sometimes people don't listen to me and I get such strong energy about things. 
and I, I feel badly because it's not it's coming from straight from the top. They want me to pull from the dot, middle of the card for you, Terry. Deck for you, Terry. Um, Terry got Queen of Cups, which is you. I feel like things have been a little bit um, imbalanced with you money-wise, but that's going to stop because I feel like you're going to have a lot of money coming in for you. Something new. Is there a... Um, if there's a new project or a new venture, something's freeing up for you to actually make money. And I know that wasn't your question, but I'm seeing a lot of pentacles here. Okay, so great healing taking place for you in your life. You really are the queen on the throne in this reading, Terry. I feel like you've cleared a lot of things, cleared a lot of things. Part of you moving forward has to do with some kind of a new project that you're going to be embarking on. I feel like this brings you, you um, financial uh, benefits. Even though people will disagree with you and you're going to hear about that, maybe see some comments online or something for family members who don't really, or loved ones who don't really like the decisions that you're making. But I have to tell you, screw them because this is going to be a really great thing for you. Um, don't be surprised if sometime around the holidays or I'd say from middle to end of December, uh, something happens that's very sudden and I feel like it's a situation that arises and you have to take care of it very quickly, but you do and it ends up fine. But it's something that's a repetition from the past, something nostalgic, repetition of the past. Um, if your mom is still on this side, it could have something to do with an el her or an older member of the family. Um, I feel like this is, yeah, okay. Oh, you applied for two jobs. Yeah, something's definitely coming. And the job that you get, People around you don't agree with it, but it's what you want to do. And remember what I said, December is really the month where we evaluate and reevaluate and reassess what is valuable to us and what we value and what we can bring of value to the world. That's what this is about for you. And in the doing of it, in the activity of it, in the action of it, there's also some beautiful healing that takes place for you and a relationship that comes forward. Um, it could be a beautiful friendship or a mentor type relationship, or it could be romantic. But I feel like there's some benefit other than this job that really moves you forward. It, it's just a heart-based, beautiful, lower chakra, rising energy for you. Very, very healing. Very, very healing. Well, there you go. Yeah, so... Yeah, that's what I think. Um, she, I'm just reading the comment. She says that that's pretty accurate. Um, just watch this situation. Last two weeks, the like middle to, to the end of December, there's some kind of a situation that arises. I feel like it's a health issue for someone around you, maybe an older person, that you have to like leap in and take care of. It ends okay. You, you are okay with the resolution of it, but it somehow triggers things that are from past. It could trigger family issues. I don't know, but there's some nostalgia there. Do not allow that situation to prevent you from moving forward and do not allow that situation to become consuming for you. You are meant to be doing this other path that you know you are meant to. And I don't even have to tell you what it is because you know deep in your heart the way it's going to go. You can tell. I just know it. Um, oh, shaman classes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it because... And things are going to come up, and I want to say for anyone out there who is on the path of learning a modality, healing, Reiki, shamanism, um, allowing your psychic ability to come forward, anything that is a above the five senses, beyond the five senses energy for you, whenever you start to train in that or go through a spiritual renaissance through self-mastery in those modalities, things come up. You start dealing with all your stuff, you know. It's healing the healer within. So in order to be a healer to others. So a lot of things trigger you and you just get through them because you have the self-mastery and hopefully a really, really good, um, a good mentor and teacher. Um, so Terry says, okay, interesting and very important. Absolutely, yes. So stay on your path. If I had to put it in a little sentence, I would say you are on the right path. Stay on that path. Do not let anything derail you. Be like that racehorse with the blinders on, ba -ba 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 -ba, and just do what you have to do. Razor sharp focus. And I'm, I'm grateful that in my life, my razor sharp focus has always been my best attribute. <laughs> um, and you just got your master's in angelic light. I have to tell you, 
Everybody out there, light is so important. 20 minutes a day out in the sun, even if you sit in your car or a window or whatever, we are being asked right now as a species of humans in the universe to absorb more light. The earth is in a place in the, in the cosmos where we have never had so much light. So as a species, we have to learn to absorb more of it. So any light work that you can do, even if that's being kind to your neighbor, kind to someone on the supermarket line, that is light. That is love. We want to expand and put love wherever we can put it in the world and expand our light and learn to absorb more light and calibrate that high frequency and vibration. Um, so I love that you just did that, Terry. Beautiful. Congratulations on your master's in angelic light. Um, who else do I have here? I've got um, Avianda Rose. Um, I think there's uh, just someone soliciting online. If Bobby wants to uh, definitely um, delete that. Denise Amore, Joanna Maya. Um, Saying hi to everybody out there. Melissa Capuano, I'm going to pull a card for you right now, Melissa. I'm just randomly picking people because there's so many of you online and in the comments, I can't possibly get to everybody. So this is for Melissa Capuano. I'm going to pull a card for you. But light, 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 everybody. Get out and light every day. Get your light codes going, especially since it gets dark at like 3.30 now in New York. Okay, so Melissa, this is for you. Melissa, I feel like you are on a spiritual path that's a little bit non-conforming when held against your beliefs and conditioning that you grew up with. So you're in the process of being a little bit of a spiritual rebel right now. And I, well, you know, you all know what I would say to that. I don't even have to answer that one in the soul space. Um, definitely be a little rebellious when it comes to your soul because souls don't like it when we do boring things. <laughs> So you want to be a little exciting. So Melissa, I'm seeing that you are um, in a point in your life where truth is coming in hot and heavy. And you're starting to really see the truth of a lot of situations that maybe in the past you've misguided or, or misread. Don't be afraid of those truths because they're going to bring you to a beautiful, beautiful place and bring out your full potential as a human. Um, you have a beautiful soul and a beautiful heart. I can feel your energy. I'm trying to make a choice right now. What I can say to you is, in making that beautiful choice that you're trying to make. Do not be afraid of making a mistake. Don't put any energy there in that fear. Instead, take every ounce of energy that you have and possess in your being and put it on what your heart and your soul truly desires and wants to be in your life. Um, you are at a crossroads in your life right now, which is about who you want to show up to be in the world, and you cannot allow anything to hold you back. So be really sincere in your decisions because they're going to last a long time in your life. Your choice, while it may seem to be about this or that, is really the choice of you or them. And so you want to choose yourself in this beautiful energy. Don't ever feel alone. You are not alone. You are completely surrounded by angels and higher power. Um, there is nothing that you have to let go of that will destroy you. Anything you have to let go of is something that you are stronger than. So take that with you. Let go of something to get something better. That's really what this reading is about. Um, and don't predetermine what that is. Allow it to flow. In other words, don't look at things and see down the road what the outcome will be. You'll get hooked and attached to that. What you want to do is allow yourself to be fully present in the moment so it can unfold in all its beauty. All right. So I hope that all makes sense to you because it's coming directly from spirit. It does not entirely make sense to me as far as the details of the situation, but that's not for me to know. It is about choosing yourself and bringing yourself to a higher light. All right. So I am going to um, just say a couple of things here. And that is that we have um, the Astrological Evenings coming up on the last Sunday of every month. We don't have a date for December yet because the holidays are interfering with that. Um, but you can, you know, see that online as well. And we're going to be doing a few more events. Going to have some special guests coming up on the show in the next couple of weeks. I've got Phoenix Green coming in to talk about the Schumann Residence and the vibration in the earth right now, which you really want to watch that show. Um, Melissa is saying she loves this reading. Thank you. It makes much sense. There you go. Sometimes spirit just comes through us. And um, 
Okay, and if anybody wants a private reading, you can find me on Zencuda.com. You can PM me on Facebook, Zencuda by Georgia Rose. Or you can also just find me, DM me on Instagram, Zencuda Official. Um, the Soul Space is your space for an hour every week where we'll all meet. It's a space of non-judgment. And so I love having this energy with all of you. I love seeing all the hearts on the screen and all the love out there. So let's just take a moment to send some beautiful love and light to each other in preparation for Saturday's new moon and eclipse. And as we do that, I'm going to say good night to all of you. And I'll be back here next Monday at 7 o'clock. And of course, you can always see all my videos on YouTube as well. Thanks so much, guys. I love each and every one of you. This is the energy that I source my life from. Good night.